too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yay. All right, so. Oh. Just for here. Let's find the area we're looking at here. So we have, what's that? Aorta. Oh, you guys feel like everyone knows it, so no one, no one else is saying it. All right, so, so we have the aorta, and then this big vessel, the first big vessel is? Brachiocephalic trunk. Brachiocephalic trunk. And then they didn't really show everything in a lot of detail in the, for the arteries on the, the right, uh, sorry, yeah, the right side. So go to the left side. So over here, then the next vessel is common carotid. Oh, yeah, left common, carotid. common carotid. And then subclavian. left subclavian artery. Okay. So we're looking here at the, at, the, at the common carotid. So that's running up here. It then splits into internal and external. How do you know which is which in this model? The internal goes up to the um, middle so the internal is going up this way, and you're going to see it connecting with these arteries in the back, too. Right? So what are these arteries here? Vertebral. Vertebral. And they come together to make the? Basilar. Basilar. And so the internal carotid is the one that's going to go and end up sort of making that little circle with the basilar, the arteries coming off the basilar. Okay, so that's how you know this is the internal one. They're just taking their gloves off, so they're probably going to open and close that door a few times. Um, then we have, what's this one? External. external. So the external has some branches coming off of it that we that we need to see. And so um, the branches that we have coming off here, there's a couple extra ones that I had you guys know. So I think that's an extra one. One's going down. Uh, I believe that's an extra one too. Um, and this one, the first the first branch I had you guys know, it's a, it's a little smaller one. Lingual. Going to there. And then this relatively big one is the next one that I want you guys to know, which is the facial. Okay? So the facial artery is kind of a larger artery within this, within this area. Um, then we have um, one that kind of goes up toward the back. Occipital. Occipital. And then there's um, another branch here of two kind of larger arteries. This one that goes more towards the face is maxillary. maxillary and the remaining one, superficial temporal. Okay, so that's the that's what we're looking at here. Um, these first two um, branches, these small branches, are ones that you don't need to remember. Okay, so they're they're other arteries that I'm that I'm skipping. The landmark to look for is the first big one, is the facial, okay? The little one right below that's the lingual. So the lingual is going to go, right, comes, comes under the mandible right to the tongue, right? That's what lingual means. And facial also comes kind of over the mandible. So they're really actually really branching off really similar places to each other. And the facial kind of comes up over the mandible and across the, across the cheeks, okay? So that's where that's going. It actually kind of keeps on going up, up the nose and up a bit. Stays. The rest of this is still external carotid until you get to this this branch in here. So this is still external carotid. This is still external carotid, and then it branches into two terminal branches: the maxillary and superficial temporal. And so no longer external carotid up here. Okay. Basilar, we just saw that one back here. That's oh. where the two vertebral arteries come together to make the basilar artery. Is so, basilar arteries where it looks like a little spider or centipede or something like that because there's all these other little things coming off. Okay. Does this one have the posterior cerebral artery? Posterior cerebral? Um, very poorly shown, yeah. if at all. Yeah. Would it be those last two at the top? So, yeah, I guess you would have to say that, that they're trying to show this. Um, they've connected it here. That, that's not a real connection. Mm -hmm. At least I don't, because that doesn't actually connect. This should be connected to the posterior cerebral. So I, I think they didn't do that very good job of that that circle. And then there's no an, there's no anterior. Um, this would be the middle. This would be the anterior. So the inter, the internal carotid branches into those two. It's like the in, internal carotid, then it branches to middle and anterior cerebral. Is that all of them? Okay. So 
should it be